Do you have get any that. more chat in you? <laughs> I'd love to chat. Right. <laughs> Shall we? I don't feel like I'm done here. I don't feel like I'm done getting to know Dave and for him to sort of see all the aspects of who I am. And just, it's not the time. I'm not ready. How's it going? Too bad, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I guess I wanted to like pull you aside because we obviously haven't had alone time. It feels like ages now since our shack date. And I know I've had like non-L moments, I feel you probably would have seen like at the ball, I was a little quiet. Obviously, we had an awesome first date, which mm. I guess, <clears throat> from my point of view, it's been pretty hard to sort of find that sort of mm. space again. I know. Yeah, I'm obviously trying to navigate what's mm. in front of me. I guess I'm just concerned that we'll struggle to mesh in sort mm -hmm. of our, our downtime, I guess. But, okay. That's maybe where I'm struggling with the disconnect is whether or not, you know, we have, mm. you know, en enough there to, to mm. make that work for both of us. And yeah. um, obviously, you know, it's a huge thing on both of our sides to sort of be looking that far ahead. But mm. I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. At the it's, yeah, definitely not a nice feeling to upset Elle. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> but ultimately, I, I know within myself that the long-term feelings probably weren't there with Elle, and I know I did the right thing in addressing that early rather than stringing her along. What happened, honey? Like, honestly, like, a difficult thing to do is because we've been really close this whole time. So, yeah, not great. See ya. <laughs> honestly, he's, he's a great guy. Like, I obviously hope he finds some sort of connection with one of those three girls. I thought I sort of had that from the start. But it's clearly not there. 